Welcome to an unforgettable journey of Bali's hidden paradise. From lush landscapes to spectacular underwater sceneries, unique experiences, or simply indulging in one of Bali's tastiest dishes, get ready for a breathtaking adventure in West Bali. Selamat pagi, apa kabar? Hello everyone, I'm Carissa Gomez and welcome to the Island of the Gods off the beaten track. This is episode 3. In the previous episode, we featured the less known Jimbrana Regency. So if you haven't watched that episode, please feel free to watch it. The link to that video is in the description below. Today, we're picking up where we left off as we head further northwest here at the West Bali National Park. West Bali National Park is located around 132 kilometers northwest of the capital Denpasar and the fastest way to get here is by hiring a taxi which takes about two to three hours and costs around 50 to 60 US dollars. I have a couple of drivers that are highly recommendable and their details are in the description of this video. But before we continue, let's have some delicious breakfast here at the Naya Goana Resort. This is a beautiful hotel, amazing views, and the service is second to none. But for now, let's enjoy our breakfast, everyone. Now we're gonna catch a boat, and this boat is gonna take us to the top attraction in West Bali. I'm really getting excited. It's such a beautiful day today. Let's go. Did you know that West Bali is home to some of the most pristine beaches and untouched nature in all of Bali? I must say that although there are a few developments here over the past year, it is still underdeveloped and a hidden gem is definitely waiting to be explored. And now we have arrived at Minjangan Island. This is the number one attraction in West Bali. It forms part of the West Bali National Park, which is a conservation area for the native animals of the region. Oh, the water feels so good. Isn't this spectacular? On one side of the island, you will see the mountains of East Java, including the imposing volcano of Kawa Ijen on the right and Raung on the left. You can actually book a tour to visit Kawa Ijen from Bali. And on the other side of the island, you will see the mountains of Bali. This is definitely a different landscape from what you usually expect Bali to be. And what's interesting is that Minjangan in Javanese means deer because often you will find deer here in the island and they get here by swimming across the national park 1.6 kilometers or that's around 1.2 miles. So fascinating, right? So we can see the deer now. This is their favorite island getaway. Oh, they're so calm and friendly. There's no fresh water in the island, but the tour that we're in, they provide lunch, they provide bottled water, so it's good. But make sure that you dispose your bottled water plastics accordingly so that we can protect 
this environment because this island and West Bell National Park is really championing ecotourism and conservation for the animals here and the environment. Now, the real magic is waiting to be explored underneath the sea. Let's go get ready. Minjangan Island is also renowned for its crystal clear waters and one of the best diving sites in all of Bali. Immerse yourself in its mesmerizing underwater sceneries and discover exotic marine life and breathtaking coral formations. And for those into diving, then the island has a five-star paddy dive center that offers paddy certified dive courses for all levels. So whether you're a seasoned diver or a beginner, Menjangan Island promises a best spoke diving experience that showcases what West Bali is renowned for. It's really beautiful the water feels so good i can spend all day here swimming enjoying the vibrant marine life we also would like to thank our tour guide Kadek and our boat driver thank you so much they've been instrumental to the west valley trip we are very very grateful and also their this their information is in the description of this video so you can contact them directly if you want to book this amazing experience. Apart from spectacular underwater sceneries, the island is also home to Pura Gili Kinshana, which is the signature monument of Minjangan Island. The temple features a statue of Ganesha, which dates back from the Majapahit period. The statue is made with pure white stone and is believed to be protecting the neighboring island. So we're just anchoring here just below the temple in the island. But what's interesting is that you will find bat caves such as this one. Really amazing. And in terms of accommodation options, there's a few here in West Bali that provides expensive luxury to the affordable and budget accommodation. Right now, we're staying at the beautiful Naya Gowana Resort. It's located just in the beautiful Menjangan Bay and also has beautiful gardens and fantastic infinity pool. And another thing that I love about this hotel is the design. Uh, they've incorporated both modern and traditional. So the houses that you can see here are suites called Lumbung. And Lumbung traditionally means rice barn. The apex is used to store the rice and the bottom is where people live. Fascinating, right? Now it's time to have the tastiest dish of the region. Come and follow me. And we're here at Gilimanuk. This is Bali's Eastern Gateway, an important port connecting Eastern Java to Bali, Indonesia. And the cost of the ferry to cross the Bali Straits is under $2. That's remarkably cheap. And while in West Bali, you can also explore the wonders of East Java, including the majestic Kawa Ijen, that is one of the volcanoes you can see in the background. This region also provides some of the tastiest dishes Bali has to offer, including ayam betutu gilimanu. And as the name suggests, 
Gilimanuk is where this dish came from. Gilimanuk is definitely the Ayam Betutu capital of Bali as you will find lots of warungs and restaurants serving this famous dish. Well, I am not an expert when it comes to Balinese cuisines, but how do I know where to go? Well, I simply follow the locals and I heard Ayam Betutu Gilimanuk Mentempe is a local favorite. This restaurant established since 1978, so let's go check it out. So what is Ayam Betutu? Ayam Betutu basically means spiced chicken. And so what's special about this dish? The whole chicken is marinated in spicy paste mix called Betutu, basically made of red chili pepper, galangal, turmeric, shallots, and ginger, among other things. There is also a variation of this dish called Bebek Bitutu, which is duck. And you can eat this with rice, some vegetables, or sambal, depending on preference. The chicken is wrapped in banana leaf and steamed for several hours. These days, the chicken can also be roasted or fried. Mm, I can smell the aroma coming off this chicken. I can't wait to try it now. Mm. I can taste the intensity of the flavors from all of the spices used. Oh, so rich in flavor. And even just the sauce. And the peanuts and some of the sambal. Mm. It's spicy, it's crunchy, so flavorful. This food is really spicy. <laughs> but for those of you who can't take it spicy and still want to try Ayan Bitutu, then here at Mentempe, they also offer alternative, non-spicy, and also you can have it roasted. So everybody can enjoy this dish. And to end our tour, we're here at Sacred Bay Gilimanuk and Taman Siwa Garden. This is a perfect place to watch the sunset. You can also come here early in the morning and watch the sunrise, and hire a boat, take you around the place for sightseeing, a bit of diving, a bit of swimming, a bit of snorkeling. So lots of activities to be had here. But what is important is the statue of Lord Vishnu here. And did you know that this region of Bali is where Hinduism started? from the influences of traders and the Majapahit Empire. Have you been to West Bali before? Do you think this is shaping up to be the new Bali of the future? And maybe today? Please leave your comments in the section of this video. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed our video presentation and I hope to see you again in our next video of Bali, Island of the Gods off the beaten track. In the meantime, wherever you are in the world, I hope you stay safe Smile and be happy. Terima kasih. Bye bye.